Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our second to last wax party break. And it's a 35 box barn burner hockey mixer featuring a lot of nice boxes right here. Thank you for getting in. No vet common ship. All 31 teams are in. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. Congrats again to the people who won spots in those filler packs. And there's all the teams here. And let's roll it, randomize it. Lucky seven, one in a six, seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, right? Seventh and final time. We got Nick T down to David B. One in a six, seven times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Kings down to the Anaheim Ducks. I think the Kings are playing tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. All right. Nick T with my Kings. Jonathan with the Islanders. Eric with the Canadiens. Brian with the Bruins, Karen with the Maple Leafs, Asa with the Blackhawks, Nick with the Wild, Brian with the Preds, Brett with the Blue Jackets, Nick with the Rangers, Mike with the Jets, Eric with the Sabres, Stephen K with the Hurricanes, Adam with Calgary, Chris with New Jersey, Adam with Florida, David with the Avs, Nick with the Canucks, Brian with the Lightning, David with the Flyers, Demetrius with the Blues, Adam with the Coyotes, Steve with the Golden Knights, Jacob with the Oilers, Norm with the Stars and Sharks, Kevin with the Caps, Stephen with the Red Wings, Adam with the Senators, Demetrios with the Penguins, and David B with the Anaheim Ducks. Steve Birch was saying, anyone but Arizona. I think he had him in the last three mixers. It was very close. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And then I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll uh, we'll dive into this break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals done, but that's all good. At the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and give away two spots in the wax party. So you may get some nice stuff in this break. Maybe end up with a wax party spot, end up with... Uh, some nice boxes here. All right, so we've got a lot going on here. Let me kind of reorganize these boxes here to make myself a little room. So we'll do the kind of the base heavier stuff first. You can kind of see all the boxes scattered around. These are the jerseys and the mini helmets. So we'll kind of do the base heavy stuff first and then we'll work our way back to the, to the hit parade case. And then we'll close out with the uh, with the jerseys and the the hat trick. All right, start off with the skybox. I don't know how long this break is going to take. Hour maybe. Maybe a little over an hour. I think I blocked out an hour, but I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer than that. Either way, we'll we'll get through it together. We got the. Uh, I think for most of you, unless you're in the LA area, you can watch uh, Lakers at Nets on TNT. I think it's a TNT game. I'm watching on our local network here, the Lakers Network. They're up 69-59 on the Nets with. 7.43 left in the third quarter. Lakers need to stay strong in the third quarter. They usually usually uh, let a lot of leads go in the third quarter. They got Anthony Davis back, and he looks he looks spry. He's running around, and look, he looks like he's okay. So that's a big boost for the Lakers. Maybe build some some chemistry with the with some lineups. I think the Lakers, in between injuries and COVID issues, 
COVID absences have had one of the most, like, one of the most, like, lineup combinations or something like that. I think the, I think the Kings might be playing tonight, too. Net deposits. Right, we can finally watch Street Clothes play. I mean, that's got to be frustrating for Anthony Davis, too, right? Like, you know that if you're healthy, like, you could be one of the top players in the league, but, like, your body just betrays you. Hockey knowledge is not super strong, but I'm pretty sure that we're the PMGs are the key right here. And some autos are nice too. Tyler Benson autograph for Edmonton. That's going to be for Jacob. That's 74 out of 299. Hopefully he's good. Or has the chance to be good. There's Carter Hart to one ninety nine. That was Skybox. Let's dig through some Series 1. Most of these boxes are 2020, 2021. I think there's a, there's a few 1920 box, and I guess Hit Parade could be, could be anything. And we are going to do some synergy. There's some synergy over there. Series one, young guns. That's what we're looking for here. This is the main chase. What's going on in what's going on in hockey today? No, Kings do not play today. Maybe they play tomorrow. Um, at the end of the second period, Senators up 4 nothing on Buffalo. At the end of the second period, Stars up 4-1 on the New Jersey Devils. The start of the third period, Coyotes and Penguins tied at 2. What else is happening here? We got... Hurricanes up 2-1 on the Golden Knights at the end of the second period. These two teams are having a good season. Islanders up 3-2 on the Flyers in the middle of the second period. At the end of the first, already five goals in the Panthers-Jets game. Panthers up 3-2 at the end of the first period. And we've got Oilers-Canucks and Predators-Kraken on later tonight. That's your hockey schedule for Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. I guess there's been some criticism of the Edmonton Oilers. They have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. I think two, two pretty solid players, if not great players. But they only have, they're only 19 and 16 on this season. What's going on? It's not good for the hobby. We need Connor McDavid to just be killing it, taking his team to the playoffs, winning a Stanley Cup.
All right, onwards. Steve saying spend all their money on two players, so they would, so the rest of the team is not good. That'll do it. Jonas Johansson, Young Guns for Buffalo. And a variation, maybe? Or I think maybe street clothes is their variation, right? Besser, Pasternak, Dazzlers, this would do a left-right randomizer on that. These cards are kind of stuck together already. Debut dates, Capo Caco. More young guns. That's a variation, right? Street clothes. Bowen Barham, Young Guns. All right. So, uh, Barkov for Florida. That'll be going to Adam. That, that acetate card. Got it. 
Are these are these shorter printed? Maybe not as common. That goes to Columbus. That'll be for Brett. All right, another series one. boxes you want to do after this synergy or synergy or trilogy you can vote in the chat first of three One vote for Trilogy. Two votes for Trilogy. Uh, Got to vote for Synergy. Two votes for Synergy. Uh-oh. Next vote wins. Can only vote once. I knew Hollywood was going to do that. You can only vote once. Synergy wins. We'll do Trilogy after Synergy. Trilogy had the early lead, but then Syner Synergy won. Yeah, maybe maybe everyone wanted to get synergy out of the way first. Ooh, and a patch. Nice, Joel Erickson. Erickson Eck. Oh four. Four out of fifteen for the Minnesota Wild. Nick T. Nice. That looks cool. Alex Belzeal, Young Guns. Uh, for Eric and Montreal. Jake Evans, another Canadian. Ryan McLeod. <laughs> Josh, I think the schedule is very clear as to how many there are left. Love that schedule. I'd be lost without it.
Young Guns card for the Avs, David. Oh, canvas Young Guns. As for Chicago, that'll be for Asa. Joel Young Guns. Joel Kivaranta for Dallas. And there's Zach Wierenski. Columbus, that'll be for Brett. If Joel Erickson Eck worked here, yeah, he'd be Joel Erickson Jaspi. Unless, unless he goes by Joel, he could be Joel Jaspi. All right, let's go 1920 synergy first. Well, technically, I don't know what which filler is going to be the last one. Yes, we are down to our last two, Josh. If there were, if if we needed more, I would have stated that. But no, we are down to our last two. I just don't know what the last, what the real last one is going to be. If one sells out before the other. I think the schedule just has those those two breaks, and that is that. Plus, full spots, if any, are, are still available. Steve, what's going on? I'm glad we're getting the synergy out of the way. These packs are terrible. I was waiting for literally the last one before I was going to put that up there, Josh, but full spots are gone. Nice. Yeah, I understand the power of the last one, but we, w I don't know. If we do that, then someone's going to be like, well, I thought that one was the last one. Why are there two last ones? I've had that comment before, <laughs> Josh. Well, I thought that... Chronicles was the last one. That said last one there. I didn't know there was a last one, last one. Is there two last ones? So I wait until literally the last one before I put last one on there. Oh, nice try, kids. Ooh. Steve Locke heading out to Hermosa Beach with Brittany to visit the Jaspi crew. Nice. You'll have to you'll have to give us the the itinerary once that's set and then we can uh, we can get together. Hopefully there's Rem Petlick to nine ninety nine. Rasmus Sandin to three ninety nine. There's a lot of numbered cards here. Oh, and an autograph. John Tavares, Toronto Maple Leafs. Karen Steele. With the leaves. Do they call them the leaves? Leaves? Bye. Well, we'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load all those before they get sorted out just in, in the interest of time. We want to keep moving.
Ah, passing through on your way to Hawaii. Nice. It's a good, good stopover. It's a good, uh, good stopover. Hughes is pretty good, right? Exceptional beginnings, Jack Hughes to $9.99. That'll be for New Jersey, Chris Parent. Or do people like Quinn Hughes better? All right. More synergy, this time current synergy. Uh, Steve, how many how many days are you going to be in? Uh, how many days are you planning on for for Los Angeles? Night or two, or is it just layover? Where's the best place to stay near the shop? Uh, literally a five, less than five minute walk that way, north. That's north, by the way. I know you. Pre but is a Hampton Inn? I think everybody's gonna forget about that Thunder loss. Whoa! Celtics are up 102.55 on the Kings in the fourth quarter. I know, Oliver, don't watch that game. But yeah, the best spot is... My place is the best. Unfortunately, I'm not near the shop. But the there's a Hampton Inn that's just literally two or three minute, two or three minute walk. Austin Matthews to 749. It's for uh, Karen in Toronto. And the uh, rookie autograph is Gage Quinney. No worries, Steve. Pretty good. I've I've actually stayed there before. It's pretty good rates. I think it, I think they're Hilton Hotel if you if you if you do the points things. I think it might be a Hilton property. Uh, Gage Quinney goes to Steve Birch, Vegas Golden Knights. So Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. 
It'll be for Nick. You know, we should have a train whistle discount, right? I've always, I, I've always had the, uh, I've always had the idea of like, you know, trying to figure out an airline to sponsor us and then have that Hilton or, uh, have the, uh, the Hampton Inn also throw in some rooms and then do like a, do like some sort of Jaspi's travel package giveaway. Someone out there works for an airline that has service to Los Angeles. Contact us. Nick with the Rangers gets the Alexa Lafreniere to 749. What's the closest train station? Closest train station is a light rail stop that's maybe a few miles from maybe a little bit more. Four or five miles from here. Unfortunately, not close enough for me to uh, for me to use. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement, Rex. Every time he's here, he's 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 crowing about his sons. Seven out of ninety-nine, Liam Foudy for Columbus. That'll be for Brett. The closest major train station, I guess, would be in downtown L.A. L.A. Union Station. Rookie Journey. Going to New York. That'll be for Nick. Brady Kachuk, and Austin Matthews insert. All right, Let's jump into some trilogy. Yeah, they might have the they might have the best record in basketball right now. The Suns they they have been playing really well. <laughs> I would love a monorail, Mike. Monorail. Yeah, I don't know when. Uh, I don't know if, if any light rail system will ever get super close to the. Uh, will ever get super close to the beach. There's really just not a lot of room. But they're. I think they're finally. I think they're finally uh, getting one. A light rail line connecting to the airport. Have not uh, there might have been like a like an insert card of uh, Kaprizov, but nothing no nothing like hit wise no autos, uh, no relics yet, and I don't think even a no, no numbered card yet either. But 
I guess actually, Mike, now that you now that you mention it, a monorail would not have as big of a footprint, right? It'd be above ground. Uh, very close. We're just a straight shot from uh, LAX down PCH down to Hermosa Beach. No traffic. 15 minutes. We're pretty close. It's it's getting it's getting out of the airport. Um, I think is the is the difficult part. So you have to go. You have to go to the. Uh, you have to go to the, the like the the pickup air the ride share area. There's a good chance that there may be some sort of surge pricing, but I think the ride share area is right next to just the regular cab area. It, getting a cab actually might be a little bit faster. All right, Trilogy. Good luck. We got Colton uh, Periaco for the Blues. We'll go with that. Demetrio, St. Louis. This is nice. We got crystallized Carter Hart. That's pretty cool for the Flyers. That's going to go to David B. It, it should be the same, Steve, but sometimes, uh, depending on when you, when you land or whatever, or just depending on what flights are coming in around your time, it could be a surge pricing issue that'll that'll make the the ride the Uber ride more expensive. We ran into that when we were coming back from the national. We landed late at night, and um, and when we landed, we tried to get like an Uber ride going from LAX to Santa Monica was like a hundred dollars. Going to almost anywhere was a hundred dollars. It was crazy. But the cabs were like half the price. And you figured out a bus option, right? Yeah. Um, it, was, it was wild. I think we chose Chick-fil-A. Chris, have a good one. Thursday? Alright. You need anything, Joe? No, I'm good, sir. All right. Thank you. Of course. Have a good night. Have a good one, man. When are, when are you when are you back next? Um honestly I don't know. The schedule's all so, crazy. Yeah, everything so I'm right supposed now. to come in tomorrow, but I just got told today that we're having a ceremonial dinner because we play OCC, and the oh, coach right. passed the coach away with COVID. COVID crash, yeah. The anniversary is tomorrow, so there's like a big dinner right. or something we're going to, and That's then we play on Thursday, 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 Friday, Saturday. That's crazy. Yeah. Those kids must be been. Right? I think he was like really beloved in that area. No, hundred percent. And his brother's like the athletic director, so like, like just the name that I've said, like in that community. Yeah, in OCC, they were huge there. Man, and the coach was sad. a really good coach. That's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sounds like a nice thing to do. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. All, right. All right. Well, I'll see you when I see you, Thomas.
Hang on, folks. <laughs> Alright. Mike Tower thinks there's a puck card in that stack. This gave Velarde. Another Alexi Lafreniere to four ninety nine. I feel like his rookie year. Did he kind of have a soft rookie year? Is he playing better this year? There's Ryan McLeod, rookie renditions relic for the Oilers. That's going to be for Jacob. And there's another one, red, rookie renditions to seven ninety nine. Both of those going to Nick T and the Rangers. And Peyton Krebs, 99 out of 249, is your rookie premier level one autograph. And that goes to Steve Birch and Vegas. The Victor Soderstrom going to Arizona. That is Adam with the Coyotes. Lakers are feeling themselves, huh? They're up 185. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. I guess AD does make a difference. Martin Kaut goes to David B and the Avs. And the super thick card is indeed a puck card. Signature pucks for uh, Annie Green for the Islanders. Jonathan with the Isles. These puck cards are pretty cool. I don't know if this player is, is good or not, but the card itself pretty cool. That's to $9.99. All right. Next little stack here. Mikey Anderson. Soderstrom. Dylan Cousins to four ninety nine. Pavelski on the back right there. The fillers are sold out too. Mm, not sold out, Matt. Still got the fillers to go. But we're close. Always remember that, uh, that there are a lot of breaks that have fillers attached to it where we give away spots for a fraction of the price. Got to pay attention to those, Matt, before you call out the sold out signal. No, as I've been explaining to you, you got to look out for the fillers. 
because there's always fillers right there. So false alarm. That's a false signal. You got to pay attention to that before you call out sold out. It's all right, man. No one, no one pays attention to those things anyway. They just see sold out. They get excited. Should happen tonight, though. I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, man. You shouldn't feel awful. I'm sure everyone in this chat right now has done that at least once before. boxes. We're getting there. Gosh, we're already an hour into this break. We're getting there. I guess it's going to take longer than I thought. We'll do these. We'll do the Opeachy Platinums after this. Um, we'll do the Pro Set, the two Pro Set boxes on top of the Hit Parade. We'll do the Hit Parade. Then we'll do the live memorabilia here, and then we're done. Should be another, I don't know, probably another 30, 40 minutes or so. Wax party spots are just for the straight up spots trend or are they for the filler winners too? Yes, if you win a spot, that does count in the randomizer for the wax party. The only thing that didn't count was random number blocks per the instructions on the uh, wax party page. Have a great night, go get one. Right, see you, Evan. All right. We've got an autograph. That is Pierre Olivier Joseph for the Penguins. That'll go to Dimitrios. 14 out of 75 Magenta Auto. That's pretty cool. That Panarin, Red Rainbow, Gabe Velarde, Rookie, Double Rainbow, so the Double Rainbow is a little bit thicker. Nice little orange slice, Michael Pietro. For Vancouver, that'll be going to Nick T. Gets left steel. Next to Lure Box. And next autograph, Shane Bowers. Green Auto. Grand Entrance Green for David B. William Carlson, Orange Slice Die Cut. And 
we've got green quartz, 22 out of 99. Dallas, die cut for Norm. It's a relic. It's Mikey Anderson. Rookie relic for the Kings. Nick T. Thomas Harley for the Dallas Stars. What do they call this? Tracks, maybe? Norm with the Dallas Stars. Blue line. Blue line auto. 33 out of 35. More Alexa Lafreniere. We got Huberto, Orange Slice, and Thomas Harley, 78 out of 99. We got a Peyton Krebs relic for Vegas. Steve Birch. And a red rainbow, Alexi Lafreniere. So all hits have pretty much been da Dallas. Not true. Not true. Vegas got a hit. Colorado got some hits. There's a Pittsburgh autograph. Vegas. Oilers. Did this dude just say everyone's going to win free tacos? Like if they're not going to score more than 99? I think 100, I think. Oh, Did he no, say 99? He said, no, but I'm just saying. Like He just says people are going to win free tacos tonight. I was like, I don't know if you can fully say they won't score seven points. Yeah. I mean, a couple threes, and then... <laughs> Wait, even if it's not a home game, we can still win tacos? Not. Yeah, I guess you can do it through that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, the Kings scored in McClure now, so you can get a three McClure team through that. Um, I'm gonna go pick it up at oh. seven, but I'm gonna place it like on the mobile order. This is my order right here. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Regular lemonade. Not yeah. Large. Okay. Uh, no, we'll go large. All right. So this is 2019-2020 OPG Platinum. Then we'll do two OPG Platinum from 20 and 21. Then pro set, then hit parade hockey, then mini helmets, then jerseys, and then hit parade hat trick to close things out. Almost there. Uh, it's we're getting Chick Fil A, so I don't know if that's is there lemonade hand squeeze? I have no idea. Yeah, Steve, we're all we're all, we're already an hour in. I think I definitely mistimed it on the schedule.
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it too often, but, but I do, I do recall their lemonade being, being great. Yeah, I don't mind an Arnold Palmer either. Oh yeah, little, little, little lemonade vodka works well too, Steve. That sounds pretty good. They have a frozen lemonade there. Vodka is part of an Arnold Palmer. I thought that was a, I thought that was a John Daly. Did I think this far in the season your Raptors would have a better record than my Lakers? No, I did not think that. I mean, I thought by this stage of the season, what do they have, 23 wins now? 24 losses. I, th I thought they'd ha be at like, I don't know, high 20s, 26, 27, maybe, maybe even 30 wins by this stage of the season. And we got a Max Verneau, rookie auto, gold, for Ottawa. That's going to be for Adam Kupperman. Nine out of Violet Pixels to three ninety nine for the Flyers. Red Prism to one ninety nine for Buffalo. Matt Murray, Matt Pink. Uh, Red Prism for the Hurricanes to one ninety nine. There's a Mitch Marner. I don't know why that was flipped around. Maybe that was a variation. We'll set it in the sleep top load pile. There's Adam Godet, Vancouver, Nick T. Numbered? No, not numbered. Tyler Seguin to one ninety nine. Spurger on. Violet Pixels for Philly. All right, two more OPG Platinums.
Almost there, ladies and gentlemen, almost there. Someone may need to do a, a wellness check on Oliver Soria. His Kings got smoked by the Celtics tonight, 128 to 75. He only scored 13 points in the first quarter, 17 points in the second quarter, 25 points in the third quarter, 20 points in the fourth quarter. They must have been missing people. What happened? Wow, the only king in double-digit scoring, Buddy Heald with 11. Oh, there's Oliver. Are you okay, Oliver? <laughs> what happened? I mean, Marvin Bagley, 6 points. Harrison Barnes, 4 points. Rashawn Holmes, 9 points. Halliburton, 7 points. Davis, 7 points. It's just... No deer and Fox. No chance. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Steve Burks of Celtics. On, on the Celtics side, much happier times for them. Jason Tatum, 36 points. Jalen Brown, 30 points. Yeah, maybe, yeah, team's nervous maybe as, as they get closer to the trading deadline. If all if, if if Oliver was playing, I feel like Oliver would have been able to score as many points as some of these guys did. And Jason Jaffe saying Clippers just came back from thirty five down. Who are they playing? Wow, Clippers scored 40 points in the third quarter to the Wizards' 27, and then another 40 in the fourth quarter to the Wizards' 22. Cam Reddish has been doing since the trade. I'm looking at the box score from yesterday. Cavs beat the Knicks 95-93, and it says DNP, coach's decision. What's happening there? Reddish is rubbish? David says, I thought a change of scenery might have... I thought he kind of started the season off okay. All right, two more. Two more of these OPG Platinum boxes. Cosmic, Seth Jones for Columbus. 65. Debrincat, Matt Pink. And rookie Otto, that's Rudolphs Balsers. Ottawa. Adam. I'm sure I butchered that name, but there he is. Got a Jason Robertson. Blue Rainbow to 149 for Dallas. That'll be for Norm. C 
Stephen Lorenz. Blue Rainbow to 149 for Carolina. That'll be for Stephen K. And Thomas Harley, rookie autographs. Dallas Stars, Norm. Five out of 50. Yeah, I guess Kevin Durant didn't play. It's, I was like, well, why the Lakers seem to be winning a little too easily? An Aquamarine, Nicholas Bodin, to four ninety nine for Chicago. All right, pro set. Top loader for me. Thanks. There's Michael Goulet. One of one. Chicago. Asa, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We got a five out of five. Gord Deneen. Pittsburgh. Demetrios. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Your autograph is Red Kelly. Red Kelly, center four. Everyone knows where Red Kelly goes. He played for Detroit and the Toronto Maple Leafs. So that's obviously, that's a Maple Leafs jersey right there. So that'll be for Karen Steele. And there is a three out of five, Mike Madonna. Wasn't he a, is that a Dallas Stars jersey? Or I guess North Stars jersey. Um, so that, that will go to Dallas, Norm. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right. All right, we've got a Penguin, Jim Johnson. Five out of five, Pittsburgh. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. It's Demetrios and another Penguin, one of one. Joe Mullen, all aboard. Woo -woo. And we've got Yari Curry, twenty-five out of twenty-five. Is that a is that a Oilers jersey? That is. Yeah, that's an Oilers jersey right there. Edmonton. That'll be for Jacob. That'll be for Jacob. And a redemption. Is Brett Hull. Nice. I've heard of Brett Hull. Brett Hull played for a number of teams. Calgary, St. Louis, Dallas, Detroit, and Phoenix. Mm. 
I mean, it's got to be St. Louis Blues, Brett Hall, right? But I don't know what they would have him on the checklist. Come on, Leaf. Damn. Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> we'll go by the the year of the card, ninety ninety one. St. Louis Blues. We'll go. We'll go with a year of the card. The checklist doesn't say. So he played from St. Louis from '88 to '98. So that's for Demetrios. All right. We need team names, Lee, for at least a city. All right, hit parade. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, that was a good call. Go by the go by the year of the card, the memory. And Mike Tower, also confirming, he checked the checklist for ninety ninety one pro set, and he's on the blues. Good. Thanks, guys. All right. The hip rate should be far more straightforward. Got Troy Terry for the Ducks. Three color patch and autograph to 249 out of the Cup Hockey. 1819 Cup that goes to Anaheim, David B. Try to pull you a nice Canadian's autograph too, Eric, for the help. We've got a uh, signature material laureates, two color patch autograph, Ryan O'Reilly for St. Louis. That'll be for Demetrios. We got Pierre Luc Dubois for the Blue Jackets, two twenty seven out of nine ninety nine from SPA. Brett with Columbus. Next up, we have for the Capitals Tom Wilson, rookie anthology, autograph. That'll be for Mike. Ta oh, so sorry. That'll be for Kevin and the Capitals. I'm so used to Washington being on the bottom of the list, but no, Winnipeg, alphabetically at the bottom here. Oh, there you go, Mike. Mike's saying that Troy Terry playing well this season. That cup card about two fifty, three hundred bucks. That's not bad. Brett won that spot too. There, Dominic Kubelik, Chicago. It's gonna go to Asa and the Blackhawks. Next one is Patrice Bergeron. Trilogy script, current stars autograph, Boston. That'll be for Brian. 
Brian with the Bruins. Ooh, graded card? We got a 9 5 10 Taylor Hall. Rookie, auto, and patch. We've got centering edges and surface all a 9 5. Corners are a 9. Autographs a 10. Cards numbered 130 out of 199. Edmonton, Jacob. I'm <laughs> sorry, Mike. Mike's like, I got, I got the Winnipeg Jets in this break, so he has extra time to, to look up stuff. All right, we have Buffalo! Jack Eichel. Ingrained autograph. I think his eyes are shut in this shot. No, his eyes are just lowered. Just, just looking down. Buffalo! EB. With the Sabres. Tyler, what's the one box I don't like opening? Like packaging wise? I don't know. Upper Deck has some packaging that, that maybe like Series 1. There, there's, a, there's one Upper Deck hockey product I feel like where the packs just fall apart in your hands. There's Patrick Line, eh? 45 out of 175. Level 2 rookie premieres autograph out of Trilogy. Winnipeg. There you go, Mike Tower. Sorry. All right, last uh, last card, and then we go into some memorabilia here. Last one is for Vancouver, Elias Peterson. Synergy, rookie autographs for Vancouver, Nick T with the Canucks. All right. Now, uh, what about some mini helmets here? Autograph mini helmet. I think we're just going to dive into these because this break is long enough. Too, too long for who am I? First mini helmet. Is gonna be for Vegas. You want to guess the autograph? So that'll go to Steve Birch. else in the box empty box it's William Carlson yeah Sean D got it I like the the plastic is a little too shiny it doesn't doesn't look as cool on the camera but the gold ink really pops on that black helmet so that's for you Steve Birch Vegas player I feel like people will figure this auto pretty quickly so you got the fanatic symbol in there Boston Bruins now this is easy right That's uh, Brian Piedmont with that.
That's right, Bobby Orr. So that's right here. Catch the focus right there. Some officially licensed jerseys. <laughs> this is some good trivia. Norm's uh, Norm saying, uh, ironically, Bobby never wore a helmet when he played, and here he is signing mini helmets. Jersey is orange team. Anyone figure out by the autograph? I can't. And these are officially licensed jerseys too. Used to play for the Rangers and the Jets. And he's now with the Flyers, obviously. KH goes to David B. and the Flyers. All right. Yep, Josh got it. Kevin Hayes. Now, he's got, uh, there's Hayes on the back right there. Now, these are officially licensed, so let me just slide this out really quick. Probably take, probably a good idea to take a look at this. Ooh, nice. Still has the has the retail tags on and everything too. Uh, Kevin Hayes, Flyers, and David. I'll, I'm gonna after we finish this video, I'm gonna fold that up nicely. All right, next jersey. Hey, no worries, David. Thanks for thanks for getting in. All right, next officially licensed jersey. Any guesses here? Number 22 looks like a Ranger or Canadian, maybe. This is a Rangers jersey. This was be for Nick T.
tuning in an hour. Um, that, that was something. Uh, but, uh, yep, Josh got it. Molly got it too. Nick T with the Rangers. Yes, Kevin Shattenkirk. You got all the authentication card stuff right here. Let's take a look at it. That's cool. It's got the laces up on the front too. Fold that nicely there, Nick. After the break. And last but not least, uh, not a custom, it's an officially licensed jersey. Both of those were officially licensed. And now there should be a few items in here. And um, there is a, uh, I think there's a hockey puck in here. A lot of times the team is stamped on that puck, but if not, we're going to go by our no um, our no checklist rules. So, which means if it's a retired player, go to the team they played for the longest. Active player, team they're currently on. All right. Oh, let's get the eight by ten out of here. Whoa! Look at that. What a shot. There's Bobby Orr without without a helmet flying around. That's awesome. There's an authentication sticker here, authentication letter back here as well. Another Bobby Orr for uh, Boston. Brian. Yeah, pair, pair as well with the mini helmet. All right. The puck is, who is that? Can you guess? It, it says the name right on top here, but. Oh, nice, Karen. Karen has an eight by ten of that signed to your dad. Yeah, what a what a what a what a what a great bit of photography there. Yep, Molly's got it. Felix Potvin, and that that is for that's the Toronto that's a Toronto Maple Leaf, right? Yeah, ninety one to ninety nine. He was with the with the Maple Leafs. So that'll go to that'll go to you, Karen. Karen and Toronto. All right, nice. It's got some good weight to it as well. All right, and the final piece of this break. Number 55. Any guesses there? Yeah, me too, Justin. Makes up for my lack of hockey knowledge. Thankfully, the... 
chat is carrying me here in this break. I think this actually is a custom jersey. It's not a, not officially licensed. What team does this go to? I don't I don't know the colors of this team. Oh, it looks like Capitals colors. Because it's not. It wouldn't be that team. Wouldn't be that team. Wouldn't wait. Would it be that team? How do they How do they trim their numbers? Molly, nice. Con good job. Bragging rights for you. It is it is Gonchar. But I'm trying to figure out is this it's it's more of a navy blue trim around the number. Right there. Does the sticker say? Oh. Red and blue trim. I'm not sure if it This NHL jersey. I think it's Capitals. I'm looking at their jerseys and of him in his playing days, and they have a blue trim around the number. Oh, and yeah, maybe they have something here. They're not officially licensed, so would it have a city name on there or something like that? Oh, Washington. So that'll go to the Capitals, and that will be for Mike. Uh, no, sorry, Kevin M. So used to the last team on the list being Washington. No, it's the second to last now. All right, duh. I could have opened it. All right, thanks, Kevin. That'll be for you. All right, that's it. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know what they do with the custom jerseys, Norm. It may just be just a vague re resemblance to the colors. I don't think it was really a particular thing, a particular jersey of that era. Sometimes they just go, well, let's just match the colors, throw the f number on it, and we'll go from there. Okay, thank you very much. What a long road. One hour 36. A couple randomizers to do. Let's go back to the list. Let's get everybody's names. This is a wax party break. So top two, we'll get that. And then first, oh, maybe a road jersey, Josh is saying? Left-right randomizer for, the, for these cards here. All right, thank you, Norm. Appreciate everybody being patient and uh, and hanging with me throughout this break. Four and a one, five times for both lists, and then I'll do a quick recap. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. So the left side will get will get those cards, and now the big the big one. The wax party spots. Top two after five. Good luck. One. Two. Three. 
four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five. A lot of sad faces here, but I appreciate everybody uh, digging deep, getting into the mixer via filler or just getting spot straight up. Appreciate it. Asa, very close. No cigar. Congrats to the top two, though. Happy times for Kevin and happy times for Nick. Congrats to the both of you. Thanks, everybody, for watching and for breaking with us. Uh, let's, let's take a quick look. Uh, let's do the... Well, let's show you these first. So there's the Brett Hall, St. Louis. Some of the other Pro Set cards, some stuff from Opeachy Platinum. Some Lafreniere's. That signature puck was pretty cool. I like that card. That's a neat looking card. Tyler Benson. And here is the hit parade hits. And there you go, gang. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody. Congrats again to the Wax Party winners. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break more with you a little bit later tonight. Bye-bye.